What's going on everybody? So it's been a hot minute since I've done a barbecue video. I did switch over to the brewing side for a little bit, but today we're gonna to focus on the Masterbuilt 560. I'm going to do some baby back ribs on this thing already. Um, you've seen, I uh, went ahead and prepped these ribs earlier, as you saw, and um, got this thing cranked up to about 400 degrees right now, just to kind of let it burn off any kind of little ugliness in there, bacteria or whatever, since my last cook. So we'll dial it to 230. Put some wood chunks in there and put our ribs on and we'll rock and roll this baby and see how these ribs turn out so anyways um right now we're just letting it uh, like i said get up to a really high heat temp just because i want to kind of clean the grates and everything but afterwards we will uh dial it down to smoke temp about 230 and then uh, get those ribs on and well we're going to be using um some apple wood here just a few chunks of apple wood we're also going to be using um, some hickory chunks today. And we're using a base lump uh, coal of uh, mesquite lump coal. The mesquite really won't get in there too much because a lot of that flavor kind of gets taken out of the lump coal when it's being created. So I'm not really worried about a heavy mesquite infused flavor in this smoke. Anyways, we're gonna, I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to dial this in around 230 and get these ribs going. guys we got the gribs on the smoker they're smoking up behind me nice light blue smoke going on over here just a very thin veil of smoke which is what you really want um, let's talk about the placement where I put these ribs you can see as far as like the length of ribs and everything the real estate uh, can get consumed quite quick so what I did is I just used one of the top warm the top racks here because it's a cabinet style smoker and I put one rack on top and two on bottom and uh, we should be good just like that at 2.30. So, you know, they're looking good, they're cooking along. I had to show you guys that. So I might be breaking the cardinal rule of no spritzing, but I never spritz my ribs. And they always come out really good, man. That's my opinion. Is it biased? It might be, I don't know. But I never spritz them. I just let them sit in there and do their thing. Then I take them off and I wrap them. And I think when you wrap them, that kind of like helps re redistribute the juices from the ribs as well. And I do add a little bit of some butter, some brown sugar in there as well. So maybe that's why they still come out pretty good and tender. So anyways, guys, we'll see you here when we wrap. guys I am using the top of my kegerator to wrap these ribs quieter out here so we're gonna go with this right so first things first I got my butter Let's put it over here I got my brown sugar here we're gonna do each rack at a time I got my butcher paper here so what I'm gonna do is take my ribs, lay them here, like so. Then I'm gonna take a bit of butter, put 
Gonna slice off some butter here. Just kind of lay it on top. This is one of those big, massive blocks of butter, so I'm just slicing it off at the corner. Don't take a ton of butter, just enough, you know. Just to put on top of the ribs. Yeah, one more bit. Okay. That's plenty of butter there. You already see that one melting away on there. Next, we're gonna take some brown sugar. Just coat the top, just like so. Sprinkle it on top. All right, and that's just gonna like mix in with that butter and it's gonna be a nice candy effect on the ribs. So I'll move the butter out of the way. Go ahead and take these ribs. So we're just gonna roll them. And then I'll tuck. And roll again. There. Oh, hold on. Let's tuck it this way. All right, that's one rack. Let's move to the next. Put it right by here. Slice off some butter. Let's put it on top like that. This is salted butter too. You can use unsalted butter, depends on what kind of rub you use. This rub wasn't, uh, this Traeger rub wasn't terribly salty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put salted butter on this one. Just like that, that's plenty of butter. Same thing, just gonna go ahead and put brown sugar on top. This stuff will kinda turn into a molten hot um, sticky mess too, honestly. So then take it and roll it. And instead of tucking, I'm just going to roll it again and then tuck. Alright. Just like so. Alright, got two ribs done, one more to do. Three wrecks done. Now we need to go put these back on the smoker. All right, guys. So I went and put the ribs back on the smoker. They are uh, continuing to cook. Not really worried about any smoke infusion at this point. Just more about just finishing the ribs out. I got the um, butter and brown sugar mixture on there. Um, they'll candy them up real nice, and then we'll put that sweet baby Ray's sauce on at the end. And hey, I don't want to hear about sweet baby Ray's. Um, I like it. I know it's got corn syrup and stuff in it and other stuff that people apparently have a problem with. But um, I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's today. I do use Wright Barbecue Peach Chipotle sometimes. But for today, I am going with the uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. Let's take a look at those ribs. Alright, there they are. Just chilling. They'll be in there for the next two hours and then uh, I'll take them out, unwrap them. And then, uh, well, I won't even take them out, I'll just unwrap them and then uh, sauce them up, and then we'll call it a day.
All right, guys, here's one of the wrecks. The ribs, look at that pullback on them. Nice, man. We're gonna cut up these ribs and see how they look on the inside. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna cut next to one of these bones here. All right, I'm just gonna take this guy here. Ooh, super tender, guys. Super tender. All right, let's see how the uh, master build did on this overall. Let's bring the camera up here. All right, so let's see. We already know she's pretty tender. It was falling off the bone there a little bit. Look at that. Good old smoke ring on it, man. And that's on the master built Gravity 560. Let's try a bite of this and see how it is. Ma'am. Still got a little chew to them, which is good. They are pretty tender. Um, that hickory and apple is in there so good, man. Mmm. There you go. Nice, man. Like I said, man, I love this Master Belt 560. Um, I'm just going to keep eating this rib while I talk to you. That was actually one of the meatier pieces of the ribs. Good night. Mmm. Bone clean. Any a napkin. I have to say, that was probably one of the better racks of ribs I've done in a while. Just baby backs, brown sugar, butter. That Traeger rub's actually really good too, man. That uh, garlic powder and chili, really good rub on the ribs. So I was really wondering how that was gonna, you know, how that was gonna turn out. But it's really good. But uh, I'm gonna get another rib off of here. We can, we can talk about these a little more. <laughs> so I'm gonna get another rib off. <laughs> Doesn't just came off the bone. These are some meaty ribs, man. Um, but just look. There you go. Look at that. That is a. Look at that glisten. That's a beautiful piece of meat there, guys. Man. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, anyways, that master built delivers, ma'am. I am, I am really a fan of this. So, if you're still on the fence about the unit master build or not, no reason to be on the fence. This is, it's a pretty fairly decent price grill, and delivers some fairly flavor similar to a true offset I think so good oh man it's probably one of my favorite girls in my arsenal now so anyways guys I'll see you soon thanks for watching and um, we'll see what else I can cook on this thing and see how it turns out cheers